we've found success by being completely different to everything that we've seen on the scene. And I feel like I really came into my own being being in such a creative like area, you know, being surrounded by such creative people all the time. One of the best things about the Birmingham scene is that there's not like a dead set genre for anyone, you know, like you support um, a band and like every band on the lineup will be completely different in genre and I think that's pretty cool to be honest. So you, know, you have like some that are kind of more the, the classic indie, but then you have people with like way more sort of hip hop influence and there's like loads of amazing psych bands as well and there's just like pretty much anything you could ask for but the best thing is we all play together. So I'm Ruby, I'm an artist and amateur producer from Birmingham. I do, uh, it's hard to put a genre on it, but it's like lo-fi, hip-hop music, a little bit of jazz. Obviously I'm quite involved in more of the like rap hip-hop side. Um, so a lot of the like grime events, I know Friend of Arts being G-Drive-Through. Um, Stuff like that, yeah, and then a lot of the gigs that I also work at, which is very varied. I think um, Birmingham as a whole is just very diverse. Like I go to different cities and I'm like, it's just nowhere near as like multicultural and diverse as Birmingham is. Birmingham probably has the most eclectic music scene anywhere in the UK right now because you have all these different movements from the indie scene, bands like Riscus and Sugar Thief who are sort of influenced by B-Town but doing their own thing and at the same time taking elements of psychedelia. I think a band like Violet, you take them and their influences, you know, you can go as far like fuzzy and psychedelic as like King Gizzard and a Lizard Wizard but then obviously there's the Peace vibes and the Jaws vibes. On top of that you have one of the best rap scenes anywhere in the UK. We've all seen the, the Noise documentary with Mike Skinner of the Streets just talking about what is happening in grime, in the city, JK and everyone, like this is the home of grime now. You can see such a connectivity with, with everyone, you know, everyone's kind of involved with it, supporting each other, I think that's really cool to see. In this modern age now, bands can be for anyone. I think diversity, you know, it's, it's spread across the whole scene along with just the young music. I think there's a lot of people kind of uh, learning from that and seeing that and thinking, okay, let's give that a try and my best.